What is good, Consistent Games fam? It's your boy, Clever Shockley. Today, I'm coming to you guys with a different style of video. It's going to be a strength and power building workout that you guys can do anywhere, anytime. Yeah, so I linked up with my guy, Michael Eckert, not too long ago. And the beast himself, the world record holder for the most pull-ups in one minute. And he's actually training for that soon. Um, I, I linked up with him at his uh, complex. You know, you see his, uh, his man cave, his jungle gym there. And I uh, just wanted to bring you guys a quick workout you can do to increase your uh, your strength. And uh, so what we're going to start out with is you got your overhead press, obviously. And I'm using 135 here. What I've been working on recently is uh, working on my tight lats to open my shoulders up. Um, but what we're going to do with this is I want you to focus on doing 8 to 10 reps with a moderate rate weight, as in like 50 to 70 percent of your max. All right. Um, these are really good if you're trying to work on your handstand push-ups like I am. Next, we're moving into one of my favorite exercises, love-hate relationship with these things. Uh, we're working on a squat. Now, for this exercise, I definitely have on the wrong shoes. Um, these are running shoes I'm wearing, and you should definitely not wear running shoes when you're squatting. But work with what you got. And for the squats, we're going to be doing four to five sets of eight to 10 reps as well. Now, my best squat ever is 429 pounds in competition. Um, I haven't tested my max outside of competition, but yeah, competition, 429 pounds. And uh, we're gonna be using a moderate weight as well. So probably 50 to 70% of your max. And you're gonna be going for eight to 10 reps as well. Uh, squats really help to uh, build your legs for muscle mass and uh, size, obviously. Um, helps you to jump higher and just make your legs stronger overall because calisthenics, you can't really do a lot of progressive overload just with your your, your body weight. Then we're going to move into the pull-ups. So for the pull-ups, we're going to be doing a three-second hold at the top, three-second hold at the bottom, and uh, we're going to keep on doing that over and over again for about five, five to seven reps of this. Um, what we, what I, I can say is the best part about this is when you're doing your pull-ups with the three-second pause at the top, it takes it eliminates the swing, the kip, or anything like that out of the uh, out of the exercise altogether. And when you bring your knees up like this, or you put them all the way out straight for L sit, it helps to work out your core a lot. Last but not least, you see Mike over there on the jungle gym. Uh, if you watch to the end, you'll see me doing some Ninja Warrior training myself. Uh, last exercise is going to be the deadlift, all right? Um, comment down below whether you deadlift with clips on or clips off. Mike was telling me I should put the clips on, and I'm like, nah, not for this uh, not for this lightweight. This is like a uh, little bit, probably about 40% of my max right here. And uh, what we're going to be doing with the deadlift is you're going to be doing five to ten reps of this for five sets. And I want you to focus on your form. Remember, quality over quantity, all right? And uh, deadlifts are really good for improving your posture, all right? And a lot of people don't know this, but they work out your whole entire body. But a lot of people don't know that they are mainly for your legs other than your back and uh, your lower back and everything like that. If you're doing them improperly, you're going to feel it in the wrong spots. Now, I just wasn't really warmed up for this, and I wanted to attempt my... Test my, see what my strength was. I hit 415 real quick. Now you get to see me messing around with some Ninja Warrior training with the beast himself, Michael Ecker. It is, it is workout complex, you know. Uh, this actually is a dope workout complex. He got built together, put together by uh, Beaver Fit. And check those guys out. But yeah, so this right here is actually way harder than it looks. Uh, I would have had Michael's commentary, which was really good for this, but... Uh, I didn't want to get hit with any copyright infringement and everything like that. So that's exactly why you don't hear nothing but me commentating over this right now. But yeah, way harder than it looks. You should try it if you could ever do that one day. And then the last and final test was me trying to do this. The funny thing is I did it the first time. Like first time I tried to do it, I got it. And then after that, I went to go do it again and I could not land this part here. I kept falling and slipping. So it took me about three tries, and then you're going to see in a little bit. I'm up here, like, overthinking it now. I got it the first time, first time I ever tried it, I got it. 
But then I go back and I'm like, man, prepare. You see what's on? You see what's on the uh, the back of that wall over there in front right there. Prepare, prepare, train, execute. Well, I kept preparing, and then I was ready to train. And when it came time to execute, I was just overthinking the grab again for some reason. And I kept just slipping off at the bottom, but then I got it right there. And then I hit it with the L-Sit. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. See you guys in the next one. Peace.